Hi everyone! So my name is Tori Martin and I have decided to choose the, the question for my topic as so how has an urban legend changed through the years of people retelling it? And I chose to do three different people and they're, they're all from my work so I went in and I sat down and I took some pictures with them. I didn't record videos of me talking to them, but I did put some pictures that I'm going to insert here. Of me asking them the questions because they didn't want videos and they all believed that so the first person Leslie she thinks that they have changed starting with um, when they started out with them being the truth so one of them I chose the slasher under the car and she said that she remembers that when that was a true thing where they would um, grab girls ankles and it became the story just changed over time became slashing so she thought the story started with the truth and um, Todd who was the second person he said that they have gone through the internet and with the internet people change the story over time because people have more access now to the internet as they were as they did a long time they did it a long time ago but now they do so and the third person was Kaylee and she honestly didn't know much it was surprising because all three of these people were such big age groups and I thought that with the age variance um, you know I could see people from different age groups and how they um, how the knowledge of legends different, 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 <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, um, Leslie, she's 55, and then Todd's 32, and Kaylee's 21. Kaylee didn't know much about legends. She used to know the, the basic ones, like Bloody Mary, for example, and that was about it, but she hadn't heard of the alligators in the sewers or the licked hands or slasher under the car she hadn't heard of any of those um and todd had heard of bloody mary and the alligators in the sewers but not the other two and then um leslie the oldest one of the group had heard of um three of the four of mine so it was really quite interesting that um, what they knew about them, but they also had some lacking of urban legends. Like, they said they don't hear very many, and I was really shocked because I know a bunch and I've heard so many throughout the years. And um, just asking a couple other people at my work if they had even heard of them and they had it. So I found that very interesting. Um, yeah. So basically in conclusion what I have come across to notice is that legends are not as prevalent as you would think and I mean just the people that I met at my work, they weren't even sure of a lot that I was talking about because I asked them specific questions. For example, whenever I said, has your hand ever been licked in your sleep? Like, as, as of the licked hand, urban legend, and um, Todd said, no, what are you talking about? I said, well, it's an urban legend, 
where the person thinks it's their dog and it's not and it's the person on their bed trying to kill them licking their hand <laughs> so but I did gain some experience of the overall topic of urban legends um, that wow there's not a lot known about it so that's it thanks guys 